Hello everyone, my name is Aaron and welcome to my channel. This series is series of tutorials on C programming and in this tutorial, uh, this is actually the continuation of a, a four part video. In the last few videos, um, we saw, I mean the last few video, to, I mean, the last three videos we were actually building up the required things for the matrix multiplication and in the last video we did the actual multiplication, matrix multiplication and now in this video uh, we'd actually talk about the remaining part of this program wherein we'll be printing up the matrix in a proper format in a proper format and then what we're going to do is just, we're just going to run this program for different inputs means uh, different inputs and see how this is working so we saw uh, where we dropped off is that last in the last video we saw how this matrix multiplication loop works okay the functioning the actual principle behind it and now let's print the matrix up so that it's it's prettier so uh, how this works as follows now because of this printf statement we're just going to say to the uh, user that okay we're going to print matrix a and then we put a ba backslash in so that uh, whatever we print uh, print gets printed next so for I mean as i tell this uh, what i would recommend is that you just take a piece of paper and try to visualize this on your own and you'll, buy, you'll find it very interesting first what i'm going to do is that first i'm just going to print this uh uh, pipe symbol over there first I'm just going to print a pipe symbol this pipe symbol acts as the you know boundary the left hand border this pipe symbol acts as the left hand border okay and then what I'm going to do is that I'm just going to write uh, go to the this for loop will print uh, each and every entry in the first row the first row and after enter, entering the first entry it will put a tab so after this border the first element will be printed and then it will get a tab and then the second element will be printed and then you will have a tab and the third element, fourth element, so on and so forth, till the, all the elements in a particular row, all the entries in a particular row are filled. And then after the entries in the particular row are filled, this loop terminates, and then this statement gets executed. And what this does is that it just puts a slash on, I mean, just puts a um, pipe symbol at the end of it, end of it, end of the row, okay? And then we put a, go to the new line. And then the new line, all the entire process gets repeated for the next next column so next row next row and you proceed further and further and further till all the entries are print done so if i were to compile uh, so if i were to you know hold on a second so if i were to compile this and build this and execute this suppose if i say okay i'm okay with the default values i just say i'm okay i proceed with the default values i press yes and there it goes the this matrix five minus three minus one comma six uh, seven this entire four by four matrix is actually printed in this matrix format over here. This la this pipe symbol is actually um where do I have it yeah um this pipe symbol comes because of this pipe in the f this one this statement over here and this pipe I mean this pipe over here symbol comes because of this pipe over here and you look at it now this forms like a kind of like an uh, artistic border. And then because of this tab, we get sufficient amount of spacing to place the numbers. Okay. Um, and likewise, we just repeat the same thing for matrix B and matrix C. The only constraint is that you just have to specify the number of rows and columns uh, to this loop so that it uh, does the same, does it properly. So here we specify the number of rows and columns for matrix B and the same process is done. And here we do the same thing. And now if you look at this, uh, uh, loop, uh, all these loops, this matrix multiplication loop and the printing loops, all of this agrees only all of this is done only when the number of columns in matrix 1 and the number of rows in matrix 2 uh, equal to number of rows in matrix 2 otherwise if this condition is not valid then we cannot do matrix multiplication mathematical logic so you cannot do that so what uh, so that I, uh, what i do what i do is i just put an else statement over here and pr put this printer statement saying mismatch in row column row, mismatch in row column of the input matrices at uh, program terminated okay uh, I mean, this is actually a normal fail-safe fail -safe warning so that uh, I, the reason I put this is because I don't want the program to throw an error while running the matrix multiplication loop. So this will actually put a fail-safe saying that something is wrong with the number of rows and columns. So it terminating it. So um, let me, uh, what I can do, uh, um, now what I can do is I can just actually show you the program, um, it'll open a Wikipedia page or something like that and show you how uh, for different we can run this for different examples i have this um, matmul file over here 
which actually does the same process. You have compiles the file, then it makes it executable and run the executable over here. I can come run this up. Okay, so if I run this, it'll ask me to proceed with default values. No, I don't want to. Now let's give um, a slightly tough one, a slightly bigger one. Let's go for a three by three matrix. So three, uh, number of rows is three, the number of columns is again three. So let's go with an identity matrix. So it's one followed by, uh, let's see, three zeros and another one followed by, uh, let's see, um, zero, one, zero, so it's zero, zero, and one. Okay, so this is my three uh, identity matrix, and now let's give uh, another three by three matrix. So three rows and three columns, and something like two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, six, three, this random numbers. So the identity matrix is A is identity matrix, B is this matrix two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, six, three. And you get this matrix C is exactly the same. The matrix identity ma uh, worked out fine. So now if I execute this again, I can proceed with some other value. So let's, uh, what I'm going to do, I'm just going to open up, I'm just going to, um, uh, I think I'm going to leave it, leave it with this. Uh, what did I say? I think I'm going to leave it with this. Now what you can actually do is this program is working out well and pretty well. So you can actually uh, run this right after writing this program. You can just uh, run this for different inputs and see it for yourself. Okay. That way, you know, you have to have a good understanding. This is actually a fairly long program. I thought of explaining this by writing it on the on the fly. But considering the fact that it took so many, four videos to explain all of this, the integrity details i thought it'll be better to do this this way so that's all i have for you all in this tutorial thank you for watching and in another video um i'll come up with another interesting topic till then take care